Hello and welcome to the Crown Hills Kitchen. Today we're going to be making fruit fusion, but first it's really important that we clean and sanitise all of our work surfaces to make sure that we remove any bacteria or germs and we need to do this very thoroughly. Now for this you can use lots of different types of fruit, but what I'm going to show you today is how to use the apple and an apple corer. We're going to focus on an orange, but you can use lots of different fruits as well and that's your choice. But what we do need is a white tray with our fruit and our ingredients on, along with the apple corer. We've also got a green knife, that's because we're doing for fruits and vegetables. We've got a metal spoon. We also require a green chopping board, a bowl to make our fruit fusion in, and also a waste management bowl. And that's to make sure we put all of our rubbish in that we don't need from the fruits. So firstly, I'm going to start with the apple. Now, the apple is very easy to do, and what we're going to focus on is using or how to use the apple corer. And the first thing that we'll do is we place the apple corer just over the stalk in the middle, just slightly twist it, and then press it down to the base of the apple. Now, if your apple is slightly wonky, it might not go in straight, but that's okay because we can figure that out later and make sure we take all the stalk out. Pull that out, and you'll end up with a nice, clean apple core here. To take it out, we use the plunger, we can just press it slightly and that's the bit that we don't require and that goes straight into our waste bowl. What we're then going to do is using the knife we're going to practice how to do the bridge and the claw method. Now the bridge method is like a letter N here with your thumb and your fingers together and what happens is the knife goes into the bridge and you cut down. We then also have the claw and that's the letter C and that's when we're chopping against our fingers to make sure we don't cut them. So I'm going to demonstrate this to you now. So this is the bridge method, and what we would do is we put that over our apple like this, and we cut down so our apple cuts in half. My fingers are out of the way, so I'm not gonna end up cutting my fingers and end up having to go anywhere. The next part is using the claw method. Again, we're splitting from this here, we're now moving to the letter C, and what happens with this with my knife, I then cut into slices of my apple, making sure that I keep my fingers away. And then we have different shapes. So this one is like a rainbow, as you can see. So we could use it as this shape, or you could make it into smaller chunks. Again, making sure that we're using the claw method, like so. So I'm gonna do a few chunks, and I'm going to put those straight into my bowl. And I'm gonna have a few rainbow slices also. And I'm just gonna use those around the edge, just so they're a little bit decorative. And we've got those in there ready to go. The next thing that we're going to look at, I'm going to use an orange. Now, you can use an orange, you can use a clementine, it doesn't really matter, but it's up to you what fruits you'd like to use in your fruit fusion. The way I'm going to do this first is I'm going to use the same method, I'm going to use the bridge method. I'm actually going to cut my orange in half and I'll explain to you why in a moment. So when you've cut it in half, you can actually see where the skin is and it allows you to get your fingers and your thumb actually around the edge and that'll allow it easier for you to peel it, okay? When we do this, it will be quite juicy, and the juice may come off in your hands, but that's fine. And you've got your segments of an orange in here. Now, underneath the skin, you have this white section. This is called the pith. We want to try and get rid of that. We don't really want to keep that in our fruit fusion if possible. So we can try and pull as much of that off as we possibly can, making sure we keep our chopping board as clean as possible. Now there's different ways you could do this. You might want to pull the segments off, if you can. Some oranges allow you to do that really easy, just like this one. Or you can again use the bridge and the claw method to cut the segments off. And let me show you that way. So using the claw, I'm just gonna cut along these segments like this, following the lines. And then you can end up with these nice beautiful pieces of orange. And again, we can just place those into the bowl. Now the reason why I've said to cut it in half is because you might want to use the orange juice from there to actually get a bit of orange juice flavouring into your fruit fusion. That's your choice. I'm going to keep that towards the end, but I'm just going to keep that aside for a second. Now other fruits you could use, you can use banana, you could use pear, you could use blueberries, you could use raspberries. I've got a strawberry that I'm going to use. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do with this, again using my bridge method, I'm just going to cut the top part off because I don't want that bit. I'm then going to cut it in half and then in half again. Again, using the bridge and claw method each time. And then I've got nice small segments of strawberry and they can go into my fruit fusion also. 
The next thing I've got is a cherry. Now cherries are a little bit different because they have a stone in the middle of them and that's the bit that we don't want. So in order to do that, I'm just going to take the stalk off. To do a cherry, what you need to do is to use the, the bridge method and to cut all the way around in a circle, all the way around your cherry. Now, the best thing to do here is to twist it because then you'll be able to see where your stone is and it's quite hard, you can feel it, it does feel like a stone. But then with your fingers, you should be able to pull it out, like so. Again, that can go straight into my waste bowl. Now you could just pop the cherries in like this, or again, using the bridge method, you could cut your cherries in half, like this, and they can go straight into your fruit fusion. Now when I do this, I usually say, aim for about six different fruits. It can be of your choice, whatever fruits you like. Don't put anything in there that you don't like, because otherwise you're not gonna eat it. So when you've done this, the final thing that I need you to do is we need to put some orange juice into it. Now this is where I spoke to you about using this orange or if you've got some ready like me, you can use it out of a jug that's already ready made. Now in terms of the orange juice, what this does, this prevents something called oxidation. Oxidation is where the oxygen in the air reacts with the enzymes in the fruit and turns it brown. Anything acidic will prevent that from happening. So it's really important that we cover it completely with orange juice. So I'm going to use, we'll have a go at this one. I'm going to squeeze it all over, but you'll need about two tablespoons, depending how much fruit you've got, okay? And squeeze it like this. And then using my spoon, I'm gonna completely ensure my fruit fusion is coated in that orange juice, because I don't want it going brown. Okay, like this. So that's my fruit fusion. What I now would want you to do is to put it into your container, put it straight into the fridge, and then obviously enjoy it.